Good morning, everyone, and happy Easter. Today we will sing, Because the Lord is my shepherd. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadow and leads me to the quiet streams. He restores my soul and he leads me in the paths that are right, Lord. You are my shepherd, you are my friend. I want to follow you always, just to follow my friend. And when the road leads to darkness, I shall walk there unafraid. Even when death is close, I have courage, for your help is there. You are close beside me with comfort. You are guiding my way, Lord. You are my shepherd. You are my friend. I want to follow you always, just to follow my friend. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather on this Mass at the Feast of St. Rita of Kasha, we ask her intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Antony Bodo, Monsignor Clement Schwann, and the special intention for Terra Culinary. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Hear our prayers, O Lord, so that what was promised by the sanctifying power of your word may everywhere be accomplished through the working of the gospel and that all your adopted children may attain what the truth has foretold. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Corinth one night the Lord said to Paul in a vision, Do not be afraid, but speak, and do not be silent, for I am with you. And no one will lay a hand on you to harm you, for there are many in this city who are my people. He stayed there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. But when Gallio was promiscuous of Achaia, the Jews made a united attack on Paul and brought him before the tribunal. They said, This man is persuading people to worship God in ways that are contrary to the law. Just as Paul was about to speak, Gallio said to the Jews, If it were a matter of crime or serious villainy, I would be justified in accepting the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a matter of questions about words and names and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of these matters. And he dismissed them from the tribunal. Then all of them seized Sophonies, the official of the synagogue, and beat him in front of the tribunal. But Gallio paid no attention to any of these things. After staying there for a considerable time, Paul said farewell to the believers and sailed for Syria, accompanied by Priscilla and Aquila. At Sethrenae, he had cut his hair, for he was under a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord the Most High is awesome, a great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. He subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob whom he loves. God is king of all the earth. God has gone up with a shout. 
the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. God is King of all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, he said to the disciples, Very truly I tell you, you will weep and mourn, but the world will rejoice. You will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. When a woman is in labor, she has pain, because her hour has come. But when her child is born, she no longer remembers the anguish because of the joy of having brought a human being into the world. So you will have pain now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. On that day you will ask nothing of me. Very truly I tell you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. You will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. This builds on the end of yesterday's gospel in which Jesus is preparing the disciples for his leaving them and the sorrow that they will feel as a result of his death and resurrection, his coming back in glory, but then the ascension that we will celebrate on Sunday. Excuse me. It's important for us to realize these words of Jesus are just as important to the disciples as to us. How many times by following the commandments of God do we experience pain? If you wish to be my disciple, you are to take up your cross each day and follow me. Jesus never promises that this life will be easy, but he does promise eternal life for those who are faithful. So again, short-term pain, long-term gain. You've heard me say this before. It's important for us to remember these words. Why? Because sometimes we could say, what's the point? I look to my left, I look to my right, it seems like the grass is greener on the other people's sides of the fence that go about their lives in whatever way they want. They may be selfish, they may be self-centered, they may be you know, taking shortcuts, especially in regards to business or relationships with others. They may be cheating on their spouses or not open to children, et cetera, et cetera. And we think, look how hard my life is. I've been faithful to my spouse for 25 years. I'm, you know, a parent where all I feel is I go from laundry to meal to tucking the kids in to three o'clock wake-ups, et cetera, et cetera. And we might find that we're spinning our wheels and what's the point of all of this? Well, Jesus is telling us what the point of all of this is. We bring glory to God when we do little things with great love, as St. Teresa reminds us. What does this mean for you in your life, friends? Every prayer you say is like planting a garden in heaven. Every time we turn to our Blessed Mother, we're handing her a rose or a bouquet of flowers that never die, that never need to be watered, that last forever. And the more we have our Blessed Mother on our side interceding for us, the more she advocates to God on our behalf too. So friends, let us never be discouraged by the trials of daily life. Sometimes they're quite difficult. And even now during this time of pandemic, we are delirious. We can't wait to get out. We're like a caged animal. People want to go on vacations, hang out with friends and family. For those who long to go back to work, the kids that want to go to school to see their friends, the list goes on and on. I long to see all of you. I see your beautiful pictures in front of me every day but I long to hear a response to the Lord be with you as opposed to crickets. But I know that the saints of God are around this altar, the angels of God are here. I know that you're here digitally. Let us not be discouraged, but rather let us be encouraged. 
short-term pain, long-term gain. Even as the weather gets better, and I already see people that are cheating. Friends, don't cheat. We are Christians. Let us abide by the rules of our government and our health officials and our bishops to know that we are trying to keep everyone safe. Short-term pain, long-term gain. This comes to us from Jesus. This is how we put our money where our mouth is as Christians. Others may be doing things that they shouldn't be doing and breaking the rules, but that shouldn't be us. I'm stuck here too. We're all in this together. But the glory of God reigns. And so may our eyes always be on the prize of heaven. Lord, even though sometimes it's difficult or we might say it sucks to follow the rules, it's no fun to follow the rules, the reality is there's no joy in sinning. There's no joy in breaking rules. That's where we slip into the slippery slope of regret and getting ourselves into a whole lot of hot water. When we abide by the teachings of Jesus, when we are obedient, and we offer our sufferings to God as redemptive suffering, like Saint Rita, the saint of today, may we offer our sufferings to God so that one day we will be rewarded with the long-term gain of eternal life in heaven. May God bless us as we continue our journey and our path of holiness. Trusting that the Lord knows our grief and anguish, we present our needs to him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that the Lord may heal the wounds of his church and bring justice and healing to her members, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that the peace of Christ may overpower nations and conflict, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that God may relieve the suffering of all who struggle with disease or ill health, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that Christ may bring consolation to those in our community who are mourning the loss of a loved one, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in the Diocese of St. Catharines, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus, for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for researchers to find a vaccine quickly, for all frontline and medical workers, first responders, and all who care for them, that they may be protected by God. And let us pray for all those who have died because of the virus and the families who mourn their loss, that God will be their comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Antony and Monsignor Clement, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they experience eternal life with Christ and the glory of the resurrection, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts. God of wonder and might, we bring these prayers before you. We ask that you hear and answer them through Christ our Lord, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, he showed himself as priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land and every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with all the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Antony and Monsignor Clement, that you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Paul, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil, Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. As you prepare your heart to receive Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us spend a few moments in quiet prayer thanking Jesus for the gift of the Eucharist. Let us pray. 
Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those you have saved by your kindness. The redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And we invoke the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, Mother of the Church, pray for us. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Our Easter journey continues. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. In love you make me a banquet for my enemies to see. You make me welcome, pouring down honor for your mighty hand. And this joy fills me with gladness. It is too much to bear, Lord. You are my shepherd. You are my friend. I want to follow you always, just to follow my friend. Your goodness always is with me, and your mercy. I know your loving kindness strengthens me always. As I go through life, I shall dwell in your presence forever, giving praise to your name, Lord. You are my shepherd, you are my friend. I want to follow you always just to follow my friend. God bless you.